rack mount case just isn't complete without a bunch of goose feathers. <laughs> oh, goose feathers. <laughs> hey folks, we're here at Grateful 42's place for computers. You might remember this from... It was a while like ago. A, when did we a, buy that? Like a couple months ago, maybe? I don't know. It was, it was earlier this year, I think. It was soon after I got back from Texas, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was like... It was definitely this year. Sometime. It was this year, but yeah. like... Because I yeah, no, I went in spring. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's been a couple months. It's been a while. So we've got computer stuff to do. We're finally going to put this in to the setup that Grateful has wanted for a while. Explain yourself. Rack mount. <laughs> yes, rack mount. That's what's in this big ass box. Mono directional airflow. So we're going. <laughs> we're going to be doing some big boy computer stuff. None of this R None of this RGB stuff for twelve year olds here. This is like serious business. Well, that and like for some reason like. Obviously, I'm cave adapted, but yes. any, any RGB like wakes me up at this point, and I had flipped my computer case down and over, and... To block that RGB, you can that, just barely you, say through there. So I sleep here, and the second I sit up, I get one beam of blue LED right in my eye every morning. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> and I'm too lazy to sleep the other direction. <laughs> so I bought a whole new computer. <laughs> <laughs> and th this is the this is how these videos happen, folks. Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Utilitarian to the extreme. None of this twelve-year-old gamer shit here. We've got metal, metal. But the most adorable little power supply. Look, Look at, at that. It's a it's so cute. Look at this little thing. 750 watts in that little space. Yeah, buddy. This thing, it's like a fidget toy. <laughs> <laughs> and adorable. I love it. So this is going to mount into a, um, it's into, a, into it's a rack. It's a rack and table for audio equipment. So like if you do like modular audio stuff and you want to rack mount it, like that's what I have in the big box here. Yeah, big box there. I forget how many U's it is total, but it's only like eight. I think it's only like eight total U's. I don't know. But this is a three, probably half. This is a, this is a three U rack, so I got plenty of space. It should fit a GPU. Oh, yeah. It'll, fit, it'll fit my GPU fine with like one millimeter to spare. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, with the three U, who knows, but... I, I knew I wanted to get the four U variant of this, but it wasn't available on Newegg. So, I don't know. We'll make do. Yep. I just love how small that is. Look, put the screwdriver next to it. That's a <laughs> that's a pretty stubby screwdriver too. I love this screwdriver. That's oh. yeah. No, this this is this is adorable. We're gonna have fun. Yep. We're gonna put the we're gonna put computer stuff in here, and then we're gonna show it to you. It'll Ooh. be great. We've come far, but there's a long way to go. So look at that little power supply. Look at that. It's adorable. It's adorable. We didn't. We only had to plug in about half the cables, which is nice, since there's going to be no SATA anything in here, right? No. Now this is this PC is just becoming my gaming PC. No need for anything extravagant. We attached the 240 radiator to the top, and we had a little bit of trouble with that. We mounted it slightly to the left, and it blocked the top from going back on. Yeah, the way this front panel connects, it has these little like splined plugs that can just barely compress but they need to go into the case and with with this completely aligned all the way over to the correct mounting holes it blocked how the front panel clips back into the case but just so, bumped it over to sit between actual mounting points and it works fine yeah i think this case was really designed for fans and not for a radiator so you kind of had to improvise no it, it one of the other options is it comes with a radiator pre-installed <laughs> Oh, wow, maybe. And I guess I'm wrong about that. <laughs> but I'm guessing they expect you to put it, like, up there. I don't know. Somewhere. Who or knows? at least not this radiator. Yeah. But I wanted to go EK because I've been fantasizing about having an EK AIO for forever. And they're very nice. The, the build quality, fantastic. Um, the only issue I have is there is paint inside the threads of both where the screw threads in and on the screws provided. So starting the threads is a bitch if you do it in situ. If you do it 
outside the case and just pre-thread and unthread, you're fine. Probably what I should have done, but I... Yeah, uh, you live and learn, I guess. Suffering is life. <laughs> <laughs> so now... Now we just need to put the motherboard in, basically, right? Yep, motherboard in, and then rip uh, components out of the... Out of the big boy. The thread ripper. And then we have... Uh, there we go. Yeah. We'll, we get... we'll see how Windows likes an entirely new computer. <laughs> From my experience, it does okay. It may throw a hissy fit, but I'm signed in with my Microsoft account, so... It, it should be fine. It generally does okay on that regard. It's, I think it only really, really hates it if you have a local account and then change all the hardware of the installation. Okay. So then... That should be pretty easy, then. Fine. Cool. Let's get to it. We have a little helper today, don't we? Oh, aren't you cute? <gasps> oh, you gonna plug in the cable? Yeah. Cats with jobs. Cats with jobs. <laughs> yeah, you like that 750 watt power supply? It's almost as small as you are. She wants to yeah. be in a forbidden metal box. She's like, ooh, gonna do some exploring. This is the reason. I'm getting magnetic dust covers for everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, kitty. Kitty. Kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Oh, look how cute she is. Adorable. All right. We have the system that we just put together up on the table. And let's take a look-see, huh? We have the radiator mounted to the front, as we said before which is blowing air along the graphics card but there isn't there's no fan outtake but maybe the power supply will kind of do something I don't know well the fans the fan not on no, the power supply has its own intake oh that's right as far as like hopefully the graphics card picks up the slack there input air input air is just only the um the radiator at the moment i we also found that uh, the graphics card pokes up too much, so the top doesn't go on. I made a derp. I forgot for this build to work. I needed half height motherboard standoffs. It was it was on my shopping list, and it didn't make it into the cart. <sighs> and what did make it into the cart was ten case fans that actually can't be used in this case. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, it'll it'll that. work until the uh, standoffs come in, and then it'll be good. So for now, we're just going to power it on and see how well it does. Well, it didn't blow up yet. Woo! And it shouldn't take too long to boot, because the motherboard and... Er, the memory's already been trained, so it shouldn't take too long to boot, but we'll find out. There it goes. It works. Hey. Those fans get really loud. Listen to those. I think they're just set to run at maximum on the BIOS. <laughs> Once I they're not that loud, though, surprisingly. I've heard fans in cases like this that are louder. All right, the fan... The air direction is actually correct, though. It is actually... Oh, yeah. It is actually... Yeah, la good. yeah label is always where it blows. Not always. But here we go. You get a manufacturer that wants to be special every now and then. So here we go. Got your so, yeah. big BIOS. We got the... Here's what we got in this computer. Our AMD Ryzen 7 7700X, like uh, we showed before. It has how much RAM? I forget. Uh, 32, 32 gigs. 32 gigs. Okay, yeah, that's right. Running at... 6,000 megahertz. 6,000 megahertz, DDR5. Or no. It's running at 4,800 right now. But the RAM is... Oh, the Expo profile is 6,000. So yeah, so it can run it. It can run at 6,000 once you set it right. Uh, I had it set right. Okay, I don't know. I think you just, just have to reboot and it'll... Yeah. Yeah. Easy mode. Advanced mode. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> It should be good. Expo enabled. Yes, there we go. Yeah, okay. turn that on.
And I guess there's settings for like how fast those fans are going. Or once I actually get into the OS, I'll use fan control to. Oh, that's right. That. Yeah. By by default in the BIOS, I want them to be 100. percent So in case anything fails, the fans don't just turn off. One thing I noticed too. I don't know if you caught, you guys caught it. This power supply fan only runs when it has to. It's not actually oh, yeah, running it right has, now. It has zero. It has a zero RPM mode. That was. That was one and of that'll save you some energy. And there we go. So now the DDR speed is... Now it's at 6,000 like it's supposed to be. Pog. There we go. So now we have the Windows Boot Manager, so we'll... That's right. We put we put the 4 terabyte drive we talked about in a previous video underneath that heat sink. Oh yeah, that was always going to be... And that's the only drive in the system. That's it. Yep. There's another M.2 slot, so if... So if you need if, more storage, if, there you go. If 4 terabyte... If, Four terabyte or bigger M.2 drives ever go on sale in the next five years, then I know what I'm throwing in here. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> Alright, so there we go. You have made no changes, yes. Let's boot into Windows. And we have we didn't sys prep this install or anything, it's just as it was on yeah, the thread I, I ripper. Ripped it out of the thread ripper and slapped it in here, so So let's see how resilient Windows Let, 10 is. Let's see let's see how well this likes having a brain transplant. <laughs> <laughs> Although the GPU is the same. GPU is the same, yeah, so it should be okay there. But. And I don't know if AMD um, puts all their chipset stuff into one installer. They might. I think, so they, it, I think they do. I'm pretty sure. So it might be alright, and it just might go, we're installing a bunch of new stuff. We'll find out. And before before doing that, though, I did. I was using Process Lasso for um, process and thread control on the Threadripper. Because if, like... If it tries to do threading across the um, Infinity Fabric for Minecraft and Vintage Story for the server, I noticed it would it, it would routinely get like three thousand millisecond hiccups on the server if it was crossing the uh, Infinity Fabric. So using Process Lasso, I had constrained it to one die or the other. So I wiped yeah. I wiped all that for this so that one the threading range on that is much higher than this but everything's been wiped for process lasso because I was doing a lot of micromanagement with that. You can do it, computer. Yeah. Yeah, because this is only 8 core 16 thread. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thread ripper, 16 thread, 32, or 16 core 32 thread. And that's on a much older process node. Well, yeah. I had I had gotten used to using it, but it uh, that build is a beast and a half. That's rebooting. Okay. There we go. I hope it didn't have to reset the node. No, I think it was just installing drivers. Yeah, maybe. Hey. MSI. How does this monitor get? fingerprints on it when I don't touch the monitor. <sighs> That's where fingerprints just magically appear them close. Maybe when you were cleaning you hit it. Maybe. I have another problem where I'll uh I'll like go behind a computer and then I'll bump my head on the monitor. And get like oil on it. <laughs> get a forehead print on your monitor. <laughs> yeah, I've done that with the computer, and I'm just like, oh no, what's this oily thing on the come on the monitor? Oh, come on now. Maybe it actually has to, maybe it has to redo the memory training since nah, I it's just Windows. The XMP mode. Oh, there it's we go. It's just Windows. Woo! Yeah, there you go. There's your like soothing background with Tokyo and the. With Tokyo and a girl just like, oh my god, my job sucks. <laughs> yeah, having a beer. What kind uh, of beer is that? Is that uh, bingo? It's, it's just generic. Bing, bingo. Generic brand. Or dingo. Beer. Have you dingo beer? And your Kent Micronite filter cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. There you go. It works. So we booted into Windows, everything worked, so, and we installed some drivers, and that was really it. It was pretty painless. Yep, software suite for the motherboard. It already had, it already had the uh, latest uh, 
Radeon software for the GPU. So there we go. Migrated look over. Respect. Kiwi. Hello, Cleo. Migrated over to their system. And it is looking mighty fine. So the only thing left is to get those standoffs. Yeah, I gotta gotta get half height standoffs, and then the lid will actually close. And I'm gonna look into getting a 90 degree angle adapter for the power supply cable. Yeah, for the tw for yeah, the yeah, just just to give me a little the more big room. one there. Yeah, the other one that uh, the other one we were talking about was the USB three connector there. That just sticking up like that. They should have made that a 90 degree one. Yeah. But it's kind of common on motherboards for them to have that sticking up. With how close it is to the edge of the case, I'm actually kind of glad it's not 90 degrees because that wouldn't fit at all. Yeah, that's true. Usually the, it's better to have the 90 degree one up there. I know. So. But yeah. No. Well, and we there go. you have it. This finally, is... finally migrated over to my Ryzen. <laughs> and it's a much smaller machine. It's this little guy versus <laughs> that giant big behemoth. <laughs> And this will be this will be doing server workstation duty type stuff. So yeah, it'll get used. It's it's my spinning Rust uh, data porting server, but it's gonna be it's gonna become a workstation. I'm gonna start doing stuff with it. Yeah, we'll see. But this is a th this is like one of my favorite looking gaming PCs now. I mean, just look at the front of that. It it's so clean. clean and beautiful. This, if you're gonna do like a build that's anti RGB, this is how to do it. This is, this is I'm convinced. It just looks so good. And if you don't put this in a rack, then you could just put feet on the bottom of it. Oh yeah, like there. Got it. Like, once once you get once you get it like situated, like that's just gonna look so clean. And yeah. this will actually be in a rack because I have again the rack mounted or the rack storage end table thing. And that's in that box on the floor there. But we didn't get a chance to Ikea the hell out of it yet. Cause no, we didn't. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> yeah, it does. It sure does. And there, there we go. I'm and, happy. And there you have it. This is the new build. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd like to reach me on social media, the links are down below. And if you'd like to join our Discord chat, the link's down below as well. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao. Bye. You can't keep. Kitty, 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 look at kitty, look at kitty, look at kitty.